service this morning, that you would be over it, that you would be in it, and that you would meet us here uh, and reveal yourself to us through it. And I pray that you would give us a heart yes. of worship and a heart of life today. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, so birthdays and anniversaries for this week. We have Pat Yonks, Kenan Dykes, myself, uh, Kate and I, Jack Cutto, Taylor Monroe, Brian Huber, and Molly Gray. Birthday, so, what can we find here? Uh, I guess I'm the only person here that has a birthday this week. So, got the thing. Uh, we don't have this. Alright, okay. I got a dog out of the week. Somebody else will have to start it off. I got another one.
so are you. You are dead. You know, you were dead in your sins, and God made you alive again, just as dead as that person who's doing wrong. Uh, so it is also not becoming for us to have any joy when we see people sinning and people are locked into that, uh, and they have not been redeemed like we have, because you didn't do it yourself. Um, I didn't do it myself. There's nothing I could have done to regenerate my heart. There's nothing that I could have done to become alive when I was dead in my sin, uh, no matter how good I think about myself. The same is true of you, and the same is true of people who are sinners that we look at, and they're doing wrong. Case in point, I can I don't know, I can never know anybody's heart, but I don't know if any of you are into modern uh, rap culture. But, apparently, a very, one of the most famous rappers in the world, Kanye West, uh, who is known for a lavish lifestyle, known for, you know, lyrics that are not, not Christian, you know, those kind of things. You can look at famous people like that who are famous for doing wrong things, and you're like, oh, well, they, they'll have it in this life, but, you know, God will get them in the next life or whatever. I have, you know, seen recent news and stuff that someone like that, that person in particular, has been miraculously saved. And a lot of times I take that with a grain of salt, but everything I've read about it, it seems that one of the, you know, the most well-known rappers in the world, who's known for being, you know, not Christian, seems to have made a turn in that, in that way. Now, you never know somebody's heart. But I can say that I was convicted in hearing that news because I had thought before, well, somebody like that is too far gone, and nobody is too far gone, and it's not, it's not good for me to think of anybody as being too far gone. So, my challenge to you this morning is, A, give some grace to other people who are fans of a team that you don't like. Just give some grace to them. And then, more importantly, give grace to other people uh, because you have been shown grace and, uh, by God, and you have been allowed to be, have a regenerated heart just like they have the ability to do that too, if God so chooses. So, I thank you very much. That's all I have this morning. I'm going to pray for us, and then we'll be dismissed to uh, our classes. Uh, Father, again, we thank you for today, Lord. We thank you for being a God of miracles. We thank you for uh, being a God of, of uh, saving those who are lost. Lord, none of us, we know, were any closer to you than anyone else when we began this life, Lord. We were dead. We had hearts of stone. Lord, it's only through you that we've gained our hearts and flesh, Lord, and we thank you for that. We thank you for anyone and uh, everyone who has received uh, your spirit and salvation. Lord, we pray for those who have not. We pray that we would not take any satisfaction uh, from their lostness. Lord, that we pray that we would only be satisfied whenever all people are saved, because, uh, Lord, we know that is the goal. We pray that we would uh, maintain the same mindset that you revealed that you have, uh, that we should want none to perish. Lord, I thank you for all that you